Hi guys, welcome back to Kamitri Hester channel. So me and my fiance Chris, we're going to be talking about whether or not rap is dead, if rap is dying, and why and how. So babe, how do you think rap is like dying? It's regurgitated. It's a former version of itself. You had you went from lyricists to just rappers. That's and, true. Like in your case, like who would you consider to be like a lyricist versus um a new artist or someone who isn't? I mean, we still you still have lyricists in the game. So I be seeing, you know, artists who just fall into the same category of repeating what has already been said um in rap like nowadays i feel like people are just talk well rappers are mostly talking about you know cars luxury life females etc so babe i do agree with you when you are talking about how female rappers you know they do fall into that category of not saying anything new you know versus when we had like people like Erica Baidu, you like you said a little Kim, Brandy, who else rapped? TLC. They did rap a little bit of rapping too. You know, Queen Latifah, she always talks about, you know, like unity and everything. And I feel like that's probably what rap is missing. You know, people aren't talking about what's going on in like the real world outside of you know their norm like everyone gets like gets that certain lifestyle but they don't really know how to you know take a lot of what other people can relate to who's not in that lifestyle and I just kind of feel like that's so sad that's another thing you know Everybody's getting so caught up in the lifestyle, the lavish, the lavish and luxury that comes with it, but they forgotten how it got to that point. Mm-hmm. Right back in the day, it was it was a platform for self speech. It was basically like a, another version of poetry. Yes. And artists nowadays <laughs> just regurgitate everything and talk about money, cars, and girls. And, it's a repetitive cycle, not about daily day struggles, not about daily lives, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like, for example, Tupac made how many songs about his day to day life? Like, a lot, tons. And so did Biggie. You know, people rapped about the life that they actually had, not about the life that, you know, they gained over time, you know? Yeah. Like some people do forget where they, where they come from, and I feel like who wants to keep listening to mumble rappers? There's so many lyrics rap lyrical rappers out here in the world who is still trying to get discovered and show their talent, and they're actually very very talented. Like I said, you know, and just kind of feel like them watching that, and like some of the people who used to rap back in the day I feel like people are tired of no one saying anything you know like actual saying anything about reality no. or like yeah like they're, they're not really talking about much and unfortunately most of the rap and stuff now is just another version of people either A, like I said, regurgitating money, cars, girls, or beefs, if that makes sense. And I also like, feel like, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I also do feel like that a lot of rappers are more on, like, a lot of, like, drugs, and it's starting to be super obvious now. Versus back then, you know, if they did something, no one really just cared like that because it was in a stereotype way. People already thought that they did it. But I can't say that, like, in this new 
age and era and generation of rap, rap I have been seeing a lot of rappers die from taking opia or you know taking um a lot of Xanax from planes or you know it's insane yeah the I feel like um a lot of the rappers that are out now you know they get a lot of money and then they end up in jail you know for either killing someone for being in a gang related activity you know and it's just really sad because I feel like as black culture rap literally plays a really important part in our culture and what we stand for and we just want to make sure that we let you guys know that yeah it's something that you know everybody needs to be more aware of that you know closely follow the rap industry or any of the music industries if that makes sense so do you blame like the industry or do you think people blame the industry or do you think people blame you know I mean, I'll be honest, I I blame the industry a little, uh, quite a bit because, I mean, the industry is what's supposed to be grooming these young and upcoming artists to be the lyricists that they're supposed to be, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Nowadays, like I said, it's all about getting money any way possible versus back then, it wasn't just a job it was a a craft it was also Mm -hmm. also i feel like people don't really care about you know what they're actually saying on the mic even though they're getting paid um i feel like a lot of artists a lot of rap artists are just artists in general they don't really get paid a lot as it is some people think you like they do but like they really don't get paid so i notice how a lot of them would be going to jail for like shooting someone, drug schemes, gang schemes and stuff. And I'd be like, wow, as rappers, they, I would think that they had it off from everything that they showed on Instagram and social media. And it's sad that they either end up dead or in jail. Well, and I don't like that because I feel like I said rap is a culture and I feel like we just got to do better. We do have to do better. I mean, just because they're rappers or artists, they're still people. They still have lives outside of the industry. That's very hard lives, too. Some of them are very hard life with the industry pressure, you know. Like, it is very, very difficult. So, I can't agree with you, babe. I mean, mean, on top of that, it's like they just can't get away from it. Most yeah. people think it's because they're like, this is what made me, this is not what I'm going to shy away from now. As, as you evolve, so should your craft. Definitely. Definitely.